just want to come on here real quick before, before, hey, hey, before my next client comes. I want to do a questions and answers. I had this brush for years. I think I need to buy another one. A Denman brush. I love, got a little hair in it. I love Denman brushes for 4C hair. It's really good for any type of hair, but like 4C hair, a Denman brush is good for tangling your hair at home and how you sleep. I think everybody should have a soap pillowcase because sometimes if we sleep with bonnets, the bonnets come off at night, but at least if you have a soap pillowcase because cotton pillowcases um, tend to tangle your hair. Cotton pillowcases, I need to get off the phone, tend to tangle your hair and that's not good. So I think everybody should have a silk pillowcase. Because those bonnets they sell in the store, extra kinky. <laughs> that's a good one. The bonnets that they sell in the store are not like 100% satin or 100% silk. So it's mixed with like polyester and polyester tends to pull hair. But Denman brush is like the best brush for so. any type of hair. But especially for 4C hair, I love using a Denman brush. Um, always section in small parts when you're untangling your when you're tangling untangling your hair. Um, section maybe in four. I like to section if you ever got your hair done by me, but I like to section split this in two parts. A little clip here, a little clip here. Then I section the back half in half, and then I start from the ends and then work my way up slowly. It might take some time, but that's the best way to do it. You lose less hair. Um, another question is my clients that keep their braids in their hair for so long, they always say they have here yeah, that polyester is horrible. Yes, it is. Um, my clients that keep their braids in their hair for so long, they're always worried when they take the braids out that they have a lot of shedding, but it's like a science. So your hair sheds every single day. So if you keep the braids in your hair, say maybe eight weeks, two months, you keep the braids in your hair, the hair is still shedding no matter what. So when you finally do take the braid down, all that shedding hair is gonna come out. Like me as a kid, I always had thick hair and I used to always say, oh, my hair is coming out, my hair is coming out, but I still have so much hair in my head. So that's basically what it is. That makes sense? Because that's like a big question all the time. Oh, my hair is shedding on the floor when I took my braids out. It's because your hair sheds normally every day. So, when you finally do take the braids out and comb it out, all that hair that was capped, that shed, that's captured in the braids, so it's sectioning is the much. most important thing. Um, your tools are the most important thing. Everybody's like, oh, I need to get a perm, my hair is so tangly. No, that's being lazy. How much shedding is too much shedding? When you start to see bald spots in your hair, that's, that's, that's not shedding. <laughs> because a lot of my clients keep their braids in for I still don't get them just now. A lot of my clients keep their braids in for months. Especially, I do my braids small and neat, so it looks good. And it's, like, intact. So, and when they take it out, maybe, like, after three months, there's a lot of shedding, but their hair is still thick and good. So, to answer that question, there's, it depends on how long you have the braids in. And if you start to see ball spots... That is not shedding. That's like either alopecia or another. Like there's different alopecias. There's stress alopecia. I know a lot of my clients that are in school. And like when it comes down to like um, midterms or finals, they start to lose their hair with the stress alopecia. Or <laughs> some people have like nervous conditions where they like to itch one spot. So that's, and most of the time that's reversible. You can just buy some hold up where is it let me grab them it's reversible you can just buy some of these oils these are the ones i use in the salon so they look kind of raggedy buy some of these oils 